What's up keepers and welcome back to a special Monday episode of ARS Goalkeeping. I'm Alberto and in this video we're going to go back to the basics, something that all keepers need to brush up on because no matter what the level of play a keeper is at, he or she can always polish their technique. So to start out, I want to get my keeper thinking fast while having to move their legs. This is a simple shuffle through four cones without looking at your feet while receiving a lofted pass and a command like left, right, both hands, etc. The keeper must return the service with the limb the server calls out while moving through the cones. This drill is all about quality, so make sure that your feet are collected, moving together, and that you're not destroying your cones. And once you get a hang of this first drill, you can add so many different variations. My favorite is to add in a quick volley on each side to work on placement of an awkward bouncing ball that might come back at us while we're working on footwork and reaction timing goal. This is always a fun drill and there's a lot to work on with just a few cones and a server. If you're of a higher skill level then try to go through it a little faster with tougher services and less time to react. And moving on we change our four cone line formation into a T diagram where our keepers must shuffle between the cones without watching their feet and then react to a driven ball with their hands. We have two main focuses here, holding on to the shot and attacking the ball. And those both work hand in hand. The more you attack the ball, the easier it will be to hold on to the shot. Here's a quick tip in these situations. Watch where your weight is set on your feet. If you can go through your shuffle and continue to keep your weight on the balls of your toes, with your chest going forward toward the ball, your dive will be crazy powerful. And for handling, I tell all my keepers the same thing. Pick a spot on the ball and don't take your eyes off of it. Your training and catching technique will take over once you practice it enough. Remember, it's all about footwork and balance necessary to quickly cut down the angle and get set in a keeper position. Make sure to be aware of how your feet are set and that you are not planting your heels into the ground. And instilling proper technique is very difficult, especially if you learned a different way initially, but it's still totally possible. One of the hardest things keepers deal with is how to properly get their chest to come forward and attack the ball first. And have I had that problem where my legs end up in front of me when I dive and I overdo my power step and I don't properly get my chest up and over my knee? One way we can work on ensuring that your keeper is using the muscles in their abdomen and core to attack the ball with their chest first is to essentially take away their legs during a dive. By pinning the keeper's lower body and forcing them to use the muscles in their belly and hip area to crunch towards the ball and attack it with their chest. Make sure to work on this on both sides and to slowly work your way up to the keeper's feet, where the keeper then has to lean his chest forward into the dive instead of just stepping into it. So yeah, these are just a few from hundreds of fundamental drills goalkeeper coaches all around the world use. If you liked the video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and leave your love in the comment section below. Be sure to check my Instagram and YouTube on Wednesday for a look at some great warm-up games you can do with your keepers as well. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again very soon.